Hey everyone, Nate Cruz here um, doing a Procreate tutorial on how to use the selection tool. Alright, just going to go ahead and open up uh, Procreate. I'm going to select one of the images that Procreate uh, provides uh, when you install for demonstration. Alright, so at the top left you can see that you have a bunch of uh, tools there. The selection tool is the S-shaped tool. Uh, once you select that, you'll see on the right that the sliders are gone, and now you have uh, six grayed out buttons, and they're grayed out because we don't have a selection uh, yet. Now, the selection tool allows you to select an item two different ways. You have polygon, which I'm showing you right now. Basically, you tap uh, one part of the uh, image and go to the next part and tap, and uh, yeah, you can do terrible selections like I do um, and then uh, you select your paintbrush tool and it'll mask out the rest so that uh, yeah you can uh, paint within that selection the other mode is freehand which is basically tracing so let me go ahead and uh, get rid of this alright so I'm gonna go change the color of her finger now zoom in here and basically freehand like I said you can trace uh, to make the selection so trace oh yeah there you go alright so uh, basically I'm going to uh, you know, change the color of her upper finger now here just for demonstration purposes and The nice thing about the selection tool, say that you finish um, doing whatever you have to do with this, you uh, click off of your selection tool and uh, you realize you needed to do something else. You can actually bring up the last layer mask that you did by uh, tapping once on the selection tool and then tapping again but holding and it will bring up your last, uh, I'm sorry, your last mask. There you go. I'm going to talk about how to set the visibility of the mask because mine is set way high. So basically under the actions button, which is the wrench, go ahead and go to preferences and you can see that the selection mask visibility at the bottom, uh, you can set that and bring up the last mask. There you go. And you can see that those waving diagonal lines are not as uh, strong. Another thing you can do, you can use the... Uh, the selection tool to copy and paste a part of your image. So uh, let me make a I'm gonna make a pretty sweet selection here. There you go. Look at that. It's awesome. So once I'm once I uh, select my awesome uh, design there, go ahead and do a three finger swipe down, and what that'll do is it'll pop up your edit menu. It'll give you options for cut, copy, and paste. So basically, I want to copy that. Uh, and you can see that it masked it off again. Uh, and then I just select paste, and there it is. <clears throat> it actually pasted it on a separate layer so that, uh, um, that you can edit it by itself. So now I'm just going to move it around, do some cool, uh, cool effects here. Very nice. All right. Uh, now, next thing I'm going to cover, once I'm done messing with this thing, is the um, the Add and Subtract button on the right, once uh, the Selection tool is, uh, is used. I'll go ahead and bring up the Selection tool here, sometime here. Sorry, this is voiceover, uh, so I'm trying to remember exactly everything I did. There we go. Alright, so basically I'm going to just do something just for demonstration purposes. Uh, do a terrible selection on her, her iris and I want to adjust both at the same time. So what all you do is use the plus button. So I'll go ahead and hit plus and then uh, you can see that it's masked off. Zoom in and make another terrible selection. And 
once you click off of uh, oh actually yeah once you click whatever your next option is it'll it'll uh, unmask the area that you just made and I, uh, yeah I'm adjusting her eye color here the one nice thing about this is that it allows you to say you only have one image you can make adjustments to a specific part of the image I'm sorry not one image but one layer a uh, specific part of the layer and uh, not affect the, the rest of it All right. I spent way too much time uh, messing with this alright so <clears throat> the other nice thing about the uh, add and subtract is that you can uh, tweak a selection. So let me go ahead and probably gonna undo. Let me undo all the stuff I did, and you can kind of see where the the layer mask is. And uh, my terror, like I said, I I don't have a stylus. I'm using my uh, fat finger, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the correct layer. And there we go. There's my selection. So. I'm going to go in here and bring up the last mask by hitting, there you go. So go ahead and select and kind of the area that I want to add. And then I just hit the plus button and there you go. Here's another, probably a better example. It's probably easier to see plus. Now the subtract tool or the subtract uh, button does basically the, the opposite so in the area that you do have selected you can mask off a part or deselect it and like that and there you go you can see that it's got the wavy lines diagonal lines go ahead and uh, bring up a paint brush here and paint within my selection and you can see that that part that I just uh, selected or subtracted was not uh, painted Now, the invert tool. The invert tool is, uh, you'll see it once uh, once I select. What, uh, what am I doing here? All right, there you go. Okay, so make a selection. <clears throat> and uh, I want to paint everything but my pretty, uh, <laughs> my other pretty awesome design there. So let me bring up that mask again. And on the right, you can see the L bracket uh, type thing, or two L's, and basically it inverts it so that you don't, uh, so whatever you select it, well, it inverts it. That's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so undo and redo um, are at the bottom. They're pretty self-explanatory, but uh, put it in here anyways. Make sure that uh, you can see here, I, <laughs> yeah, there you go, undo, undo. Um, with when you're using freehand you have to make sure to take your hand up every once in a while or else you hit that undo and it'll <laughs> undo everything and uh, yeah so here's a redo it's basically the opposite of undo and uh, there we go I'm so awesome at doing selections and there's redo so all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. If it wasn't, uh, don't watch it again. Uh, check me out on Facebook and uh, DeviantArt. My links are in the description.